Hi guys, it's me. I'm back again. I know it's been a while. Um, I'm here with a get ready with me for you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put eye primer. I'm using the Milani eye primer. I'm looking to the side, it's because I have a mirror on one side and then on the other side I had my iPad um, watching a, a YouTube video, I was watching a makeup video <laughs> so here I'm just patting it down on my eyelids making sure I put some underneath on my um, close to my lash line today's look, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, but um, I will be wearing a little bit of mascara in the next few clips, so you will see me um, put that on, and uh, if I don't use eye primer down on my bottom lash line, it, the mascara smudges down. So now that I put my eye primer, I'm now going to put on my face primer. I do see e.l.f. primer, I think it's called the Power Grip. I'm just gonna squeeze some of it in my hand and apply that all over my face. We're doing a natural look today, so it's not gonna be anything too crazy. While I was doing my makeup that day, um, it was actually to get ready for work, so I wanted to make sure my makeup wasn't sliding off my face during my shift. I'm 
just blending that in with my fingers. Patting it in. I'd like to apologize. I'll take the time now to apologize for um, not posting in, I think, over a year. Initially, I wasn't going to post anything. I kind of decided just to leave my channel alone and not, not make any more videos, but recently my cousin um she watches my videos she binge watches them while she does her her makeup and her skincare so i thought i'd um i thought i'd make one for her so this one is it's dedicated to her i guess you could say so yeah um i'm hoping i'll be a lot more active i know i said that last time whenever i had like my little disappearance um, but I'll try to be more active. So yes, there I just finished up with the color corrector. I blended it in with my fingers. And here I'm just debating whether or not, um, I want to go in with a, uh, just pure concealer, or if I want to go in with a more heavier, heavier foundation, although the foundation um, the one that I like to use is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, um, but that one, if you've ever used it, it's a very full coverage. But I was having a good skin day, so I went with uh, just doing concealer. And then here, I just got a white translucent powder. I rubbed my beauty sponge in it so that I could pick up some of the translucent powder and just kind of set my eyelids with it because I had realized that I didn't set my eyelids after the eye primer. So yes, here I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. With this, I usually just like to go under my eyes and around my mouth. As you'll see here, typically those tend to be the darker spots on my face for me. Just around my eyes and around my mouth. Um, so yeah, just kind of like the center of my face, excuse me, just the center of my face. If I have any, um, pimples, any blemishes, like I do there on my forehead, um, I just like to cover those up a little bit. Usually I don't tend to have anything on the sides of my face, so I keep the concealer concentrated on the middle of my face. So yeah, but there I'm showing you guys the maybe Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. That concealer has been my favorite concealer for a long, long time now. I love that concealer so much. Here I'm grabbing my eyelash curler. I like to let the concealer sink in a little bit, kind of dry down a little bit. I find that if I let it sit on my skin, it gives me more coverage, which is what I need, especially under my eyes. Um, so yeah, while I'm letting my concealer sit, I'm curling my eyelashes. I have very stubborn, kind of poked myself there a little bit, I have very stubborn, uh, straight lashes that have a hard time on holding a curl. So I, I'm sorry if you can hear that truck rumbling outside. So whenever I go in with my curler, my eyelash curler, I go in like at least 10 times trying to curl my eyelashes just to make sure that they're well curled so that when I go in and add that um, mascara, they stay up and they hold that curl. Also dip. Um, the only way to get your eyelashes to be curled up, if you have stubborn eyelashes like I do, that goes straight down, is one, making sure that you curl your eyelashes a whole bunch of times, and two, making sure that you use using a mascara that's waterproof. That is the only way that my lashes stay up. And, um, that's just been the most effective way to get them to stay up. So here I'm just going in with my finger, and... Blending, 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 blending that concealer. I like to start on the outer edge, just because that's where I have the least amount of darkness there, so I can kind of be a little half 
haphazardly with my with my blending and as we get to the to the inner corner of my eye I like to take my time and kind of concentrate the blending on where I had initially put my concealer just to ensure that I get that coverage my face. 
use a lot. I don't use an excessive amount of powder just because I have um, extremely dry skin. So I just like to use a little bit of powder on that, um, on that beauty, beauty sponge. There I am being entranced by the YouTube video I was watching. So before I put on my mascara, here I am going back in with my eyelash curler to curl my lashes once more. Uh, just to ensure that they're they're nicely curled. <laughs> so here I am adding my mascara. I use the Maybelline. I believe it's called Volume.